Welcome to WIPLD video tutorial. WIPLD ProCAD is an extension of the WIPLD flagship product WIPLD Pro. Before start working on this task, it is recommended that user successfully completes the previous training task. In this video, we will demonstrate modeling and simulation of horn antenna fed with rectangular waveguide. The model of the horn antenna will be made in two ways. Full model, quarter model. After WIPLD Pro CAD has been started, the first action is to select New Project and save a project under the name Horn Full. Before we create a geometry, the model units should be set as appropriate. The units for frequency should be expressed in gigahertz, while the units for length should be in millimeters. The other units are kept as defaults. The next step is setting the operation mode. In this case, the operation mode should be set to one of the antenna modes. For simulating a single antenna, both one generator at a time and all generators modes can be used. We will set the operation mode to antenna, one generator at a time. Definition of a frequency range for the antenna simulation should follow next. For the particular case of the horn antenna, the frequency range should be set between 2.6 GHz and 3.6 GHz. Now, we will define symbols which will be used as dimensions of the horn antenna. Width and height of the feeding waveguide are entered first. After that, we add symbols defining horn antenna and the length of the feeding waveguide. To create the horn antenna model, we use built-in primitives. First, we will create a cuboid starting with the cuboid position. Coordinates of a vertex defining one base corner of cuboid position are defined using symbols. To switch between the required coordinate fields containing coordinates of the vertex, we use Tab key. Similarly, the opposite base corner and the height of the cuboid are defined. In order to exit drawing mode, we can either press Escape key or select option Reset from the pop-up menu. The next body to be created is a flare. To completely define the flare, the coordinates of the first base corner, the opposite base corner, top size base and the flare height should be entered. After successfully creating the flare, it should be translated to the actual position it should take in the antenna model. Choosing selection level slash body and select by single click and then selecting body 2 followed by translate body opens a dialog box where the translation vector details should be entered. Choose selection level slash body and select by single click if not active already and click on unite simplify The operation will remove overlapped faces and will create a new body, body 3. Now, let's choose selection level slash face and select by single click. We will delete selected face. This action concludes drawing of model's geometry. In the next step, we should define an excitation. The antenna is fed using rectangular waveguide port. Waveguide port should be defined on the bottom face of the waveguide. In order to clearly see a port direction 
and polarization, visibility of the grid and coordinate systems is turned off. Select the face and choose the Set Waveguide Port option from the pop-up menu. Now, let's define the directions for calculating radiation pattern. The radiation pattern will be calculated in 37 directions in the phi and in 19 directions in the theta plane. In order to hide window originating from kernel application, choose Silent Run option. Save the project and run it. The simulation is finished in a very short time, even on the standard computer. After the simulation is finished, the results for S11 can be displayed in decibels. The scale of the graph can be set up appropriately by opening Range menu. Calculated 3D radiation pattern can be visualized and results inspected at various frequencies. For numerically efficient calculations, it is always important to decrease simulation time and to use as low memory resources as possible. For the particular case of the horn antenna, a number of unknowns can be significantly reduced by utilizing symmetry of the structure and the symmetry of the excitation. We will use the previous model and save it under the name Horn Quarter. Make sure that option Keep Solids is unchecked. Let's remove the parts of the model on the negative side of the X and Y plane. This can be done by using Crop by Plane option. After the operations only the quarter of the model remains. To use only the quarter of the original model, a symmetry and an anti-symmetry plane should be defined. Therefore, symmetry of the antenna structure and antenna excitation can be utilized to reduce the size of the model in the computations. By pressing S on the keyboard, we can easily visualize symmetry planes. The model is simulated and the results are inspected, similarly as in the case where a model has been analyzed without utilizing symmetry. A number of unknowns used to solve a model can be viewed by inspecting output slash list slash input data. A comparison of number of unknowns used for calculations for two horn antenna models as presented indicates that exploiting symmetry of a structure can reduce a number of unknowns significantly. Graphical overlay of the results validates that the reduction in number of unknowns does not affect the accuracy. User-friendly Whipple-D ProCAD interface enables very easy and very fast modeling of various electromagnetic problems. The simulations of two models of the horn antenna confirm this property. Especially, utilization of two symmetry planes reduces the number of unknowns and produces the same results as the model where the reduction has not been applied. Thank you for your attention. For further information, please visit our website.